Hey guys, what's up? It's Steven from Southern Arboreal. So this week I decided to do a video on my reptile room, what my plans are for Southern Arboreals. I think I covered it in a previous video, but I think I need a more in-depth video on this. I gotta show you my geckos, what the plans are for them, show you all my breeders, and I'm gonna show you my green tree pythons and my ball pythons. Yeah, I got green tree pythons and I got ball pythons. They're freaking awesome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out these animals. This right here is one of my male Arus. Uh, he would be considered a high white Aru. Uh, his name's Yoshi because he's green and he looks like Yoshi from Mario Brothers. Oh, Yoshi, oh. Yeah, he's so awesome. Freaking love this dude. I picked him up a couple years ago. Uh, no, three years ago. Um, he is just freaking awesome. I love this dude. Check out that green in there. Going towards the camera right there all right guys so that's yoshi the male aru and check that out this is my male bioc still going through a color change he's about three and a half years old i paired him with the bioc female or bioc female that is uh located in her hide i'm going to show you that um in the next clip so basically um I got this guy, same thing, like three years ago. I acquired most of them in the same year, except for my oldest female. But he was only 150 bucks. I know, right? Only $150. So that was the find of the century, definitely. All right. Look at him. He's a little mad. Not all Beox are, most of them are temperamental but they can be um, pretty sweet animals actually. Um, they're not all about striking and all that when you open the cage. They do uh, tend to just kind of check out what you're doing. Like, oh, hey, I think I know you, but uh, what the heck are you doing in my environment? You know, basically. So, all right. So this is the female Sprite. She's a female Bioc. I had paired her with that male Bioc that has uh, been going through his color change, still going through a color change. Um, so basically, I paired him with her. She's been in her hide. Um, I've been checking on her. No eggs yet. I don't want to disturb her today because she might be getting ready to lay eggs here soon. I know she is. Uh, I'll throw a little clip in there of her uh, is me lifting this up just so you can see her and then you can kind of be the judge of uh, maybe if she has eggs or not. I think she does. So, um, yep, that's her. Whoa now, girl. Whoa now. This is my high blue female Aru. We call her Bluey. Uh, she's awesome. She used to be really temperamental, but she's really mellowed down except for the time Ian Vassell came over and she bit him in the face. I bet he doesn't tell that story when he went and checked out my collection. But uh, I really love this girl. Um, you know, there were a couple times I thought that um, I had bred her to my male Aru Yoshi. And, uh, you know, I think there was an ovulation, 
but basically, I don't know what happened. I mean, I tried cycling her, I tried following all the procedures for breeding, you know, but I guess it's more on the animal and what's best for them. So I think she reabsorbed her eggs. Whoa, kind of don't want you too close to my face. We don't want to pull an Ian Bacell. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so this is my female Aru. High blue female Aru. Uh, and her name is Bluey. I know. As you saw in the clips before, on this uh, Manicori green tree python, he has a lot of blue and a lot of green and a lot of yellow. He's very beautiful. Uh, the lighting kind of sucks because I had to move the camera to the other side of the room because the road mic is picking up interference, I think, from the rotor, or rotor, router that's in my bedroom coming down from the ceiling. So I, th I think that's what was kind of messing up my audio clip. So I had to go ahead and switch over to the other side of the room. Basically, I picked this guy up a couple years ago. Uh, my brother actually was coming out to visit. I went to the local reptile store to go get feeders that day, and it just happened to be that a guy had sold his collection, and this mana quarry was part of it. So I was lucky enough to get this. I wanted to thank Landon Sea Exotics for holding on to this guy for me because they knew that I was going to be interested in this mana quarry. Um, he's awesome. He's more of my pet. Um, I don't have any plans on uh, pairing this guy up with anything. Maybe in the future, I don't know. We'll see. But color-wise, this guy is my favorite, uh, hands down. Just all the blue markings in him, the yellow. He's not like, uh, yeah, I don't know. He's like more beautiful than a designer green tree python, you know, because he's just all natural, all natural. Since I have a few crested geckos, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and share some clips that I'm going to take of the cresteds, and I'll put their names in the bottom of the screen so you know who you're looking at. Now that you've seen all the clips of all the crested geckos that I have, basically that's the direction that I want to go in with Southern Arboreals is I want to do red projects with the crested geckos. Uh, I fell in love with the reds as you can see Thanos. We actually got him from Austral Gecko along with the other females. Or uh, some of the females are from Austral Gecko but they're not the same lineage as Thanos here. So it'll be okay to breed him with the other females. We also got uh, a female from Altitude Exotics. I named her baby girl, cause she's big and all chunky like a baby girl. So I'm gonna actually pair him with baby girl. And I think that that is gonna produce some pretty awesome uh, looking red kids. Also, he's just gonna pass on that gene. Um, he actually came from a uh, Lewinsky offspring. So that's why that would explain all that white in him. So thank you Austral Gecko for that. Um, releasing a Lewinsky kid. Since he's going to fit right in with all my red projects. And I can't wait. 
We're also going to be doing ball pythons and we're going to be doing green tree pythons. Still working on the green tree pythons. Um, they are a little bit harder to breed, but that's the thing is you can't breed them too often. Um, it'll stress them out. I don't want to kill the animals. So, you know, I try my once a year if I'm not successful. Hopefully that female that I showed you, the Bayak uh, female Aru, uh, female Bayak Aru, what the heck am I talking about? It's a Bayak, maybe an Aru cross, I don't know. But anyways, her name's Sprite. She is possibly going to be laying eggs and it's going to be awesome. And I hope that I have success with that. That would be great. And yep, yeah, so there we go. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you some of the ball pythons that we're going to be working with. Alright, now so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of my ball pythons. Like I said, it sucks. The mic is picking up some interference. So I can't film on that side of the room. I'm not going to unplug the router. So I'm going to do the same thing with the green tree pythons. And I'm going to show you the ball pythons up against this wall. So basically the plan for the ball pythons, I have... 12 ball pythons, two pastels, I got six normal females, and I have three double head albino pides. They look like normals, but they do carry that a uh, double head albino gene, uh, double head albino pied gene. So hopefully once those guys get bigger and I start breeding those males to the females, it says there's like a one in 16 chance that you'll get albino pides, but you know, the whole experience, even if normals come out, they're still an animal. I still get excited about uh, animals hatching. So it's, you know, it's really cool. So let's go ahead and show you some of those ball pythons. So what I'm going to do is I'll just show you like one or two just to kind of give you an idea of uh, what I got. And I'm sure you've seen a normal looking ball python before. So here we go. Alright guys, so that's this week's video on the reptile room. I just want to say thanks for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe. And he wants you to like and subscribe as well. Actually, she. So make sure that you do that. Alright, peace.